Welcome back YouTube. What's going on you guys? How's everybody doing? Now, I don't feel like saying a lot of stuff, so let's go ahead and get straight into it guys. Let's do it. some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. You both heard her. She had no love for Falcone. She's supposed to do her duty, not act on impulses. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Tony's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. That details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Someone planned this for a reason. But even if that's true, the simple fact is she gunned him down in his hospital bed. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. <sighs> Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. <sighs> Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. still visible beneath her skin. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't, they were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, hey, don't worry about that now. 
someone used her as a weapon, Harvey. They drugged her and sent her after Falco. <sighs> hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! What are you doing here? My friends in the in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Where did you get that? So it's true? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Word is, you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now, you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. A police sergeant, Renee Montoya. W wait, Sergeant Montoya? You didn't get this from me. Either Cobblepot drugged Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... messy. They were out of control. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses, the things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location.
Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Check out this office. Where is I don't know? Please, oh, no. right. you can help me. <laughs> Let him go, Batman. It's about time you kill a crime boss. You'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. I said let him go. You hear that, Roland? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Impaling a man on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself! Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out! I don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Might be time to reconsider. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. Oswald Cobblepot. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? Gotta admit, you've got flair. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to try harder than this. <laughs> Track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away.
and dancing and fighting. Not necessarily in that order. You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Do you know Selena Kyle? There are men after her. Uh-huh. When aren't there? Well, these ones are trying to kill her. Hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Uh, buy you a drink? How about a few? <laughs> it ain't like you're short on cash. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company, but whatever. <sighs> Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. I'm sorry things went down the way they did, but I have information. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The Penguin. <laughs> I'm going to deal with it. But I need you to tell me everything you know about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. If Penguin is everything you say, there's no tree high enough for you to climb. He will find you. So what are you suggesting? The bat helps the cat? And the cat helps the bat. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. Keep Harvey out of this. The less he knows, the safer he'll be. I'm sure his safety is your paramount concern. You and I... Please, don't wreck my bar. Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin...
think they want more. Then let's give it to them. Pretty good. For such a pretty boy. Come on, this way! I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. You shouldn't trust me, you know. I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. What else is on there? It looks like they were in contact many times. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice... The whole world was horrified at what Batman did to Falcone. You terrorized the mayor too. You could lose Gotham's goodwill completely. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Batman is the sure bet. already afraid of the Batman after what you did to Falcone. Try not to make things worse by going overboard on Hill. Don't worry, Alfred. I'm a light touch when I need to be. The city will thank me later if Hill tells me Penguin's plans. Now 
Weber, you incompetent. Dent's up in the polls. I need to crucify him in the debate or we can kiss re-election and your job goodbye. You'd better be back here in the next 15 minutes or I'm cutting your pay. Who's there? Deborah. Deborah. Is that you? You know who I am. It's time we finally met. Oh! Batman? What are you doing here? You know who Penguin is. So I've heard of him. So what? I've got nothing to do with that lowlife. Do you hear me? Patience isn't my strong suit, oh. man. Talk! I'm talking! You're not listening! I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Wayne, there's the real problem. He's the one you should be after. Every fiber of his being built on lies, his status, his fortune. You really believe that? I witnessed firsthand the atrocities of his family, and he's the one who profited. <gasps> Security! Pick up, goddammit! Security! Oh. Don't kill me! I've done nothing wrong! I want the truth! And I'll break every bone in your body to get it. You're insane. Just like they say. A madman in a mask. Penguin wants revenge for what happened to his mother. Thomas Wayne sent her to Arkham, along with who knows how many other innocents. Nothing was wrong with any of them. Something this big couldn't have been hidden. There'd be records. <sighs> with enough money, you can make anything, or anyone, disappear. <sighs> I didn't dare speak up. Whatever happened in the past, it's nothing compared to what's happening now. Penguin isn't the only child of Arkham. There are others whose families were destroyed by Wayne. They'll make Gotham pay for his sins. <laughs> no. <laughs> They'll have to go through me first. If I hadn't given Penguin what he wanted, he would have struck the debate tonight. I didn't just do this for myself. I'm trying to protect Gotham. Finally, about damn time. It's Batman! Shoot him! Come on, get the mayor out of here! I heard everything, Master Bruce. What he said about your father, it must be difficult to process. I need to know what went on in Arkham Asylum. Uh, indeed. I'm just as frustrated as you are. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. But Gordon heard about Batman's surprise visit to the mayor. He was far from happy. Thanks for the heads up. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater the auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hills, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To hear their crimes detailed, first by Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. And the city needs you, now more than ever. I'll, uh, leave you to it then. Wait a minute. 
The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gord that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's not exactly pleasant. Why? why what happened? Are you all right? Me? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. No, oh, you mean because of this penguin threat. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of a kill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. I, I get it, it's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. No matter what, we need a new mayor. Hill needs to be removed. I knew you'd see it that way. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> I guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember... You are always my friend. Batman! Yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. I just had the mayor in my ear about your visit. And after what you did to Falcone. Listen, I value you looking out for the city, really. People are terrified of you, including my cops. Gotham is under threat, and your force isn't up to dealing with it. That may be true, but you've gone too far. My hands are tied. The GCPD has orders to take you in. After tonight, I can't stand in their way anymore. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? I think she's mending her ways. Oh, he's right, Lieutenant. I don't do the bad things anymore. Unless it's on request. Well, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. You don't owe me anything. Those scum had it coming. And they say chivalry is dead. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Now well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. 
Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. This is an important debate for these two candidates. Incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger, Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. We know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn so sons of... Sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business... Firing the moderator! I hate to be a downer, but these hostages... I don't like their chances. Um, they just didn't have a head for the issues. If we're quick and decisive, no one else has to die. If you say so. But Penguin's playing for keeps. Fanatics always do. <gasps> You'll do. Get out here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes! Yes! Thank you for volunteering! Please! No! Go on then! Introduce the candidates! Stage fright, huh? Alright, I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Gotta take them out quietly. line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My dumb brothers and sisters of Gotham, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade and expose the corruption that ruined your city. For too long, Men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. I knew this was too big for Oswald alone. Someone else is pulling the strings. Smart. Let someone else do the dirty work. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Chosen to me. Go on, love. You know what to do. Incinerate the pool. 
Stop! I had him killed because of it! Don't want me back, my poor old mum. So this is for her. I won't let you kill anyone else! Wait your turn, Dent! Bruce Wayne, your biggest supporter, and he didn't yes. even turn up. Yeah. Batman! The revolution's already started! It's too late to join! Let Dent go! And what if I do? I'll crush every bone in your body. I knew you'd say something like that. Or 
Where's the maniac in the mask? We need paramedics over here, now! City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. same after this. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Okay, guys, that shit was fucking dope, man. I hope you guys enjoyed that, cause I'm over here just say, slicing to myself, saying this shit is dope, this shit is dope, this shit is dope. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed episode two. I, I gotta check when see what episode three comes out, but either way, let's just take a look at this uh the stats and see what everyone else chose. So, a lot of people didn't want him to suffer. That's unfortunate. All right, so let's see. Huh, did you try to kiss? That's that's cute. Oh, that's nice. Seventy-seven percent of them. Let's sorry. We gotta do it, bro. Wow. Wow. So it was like half and half. Ah, that was a good choice. Batman it was. Even though I should have, I shouldn't have put the hole inside of you know Falcone. But you know, whatever. Things happen. Um. Damn. People still said yeah because they knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> oh well. People were eight point four percent are assholes. And then. We saved her naturally because Harvey, you know, he's he's Harvey. You know, let him get hurt a little bit. It's okay. I think that was all the choices. Yeah. So majority of green minus one red, and <laughs> that was it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And now uh, let's go ahead and see what's on next time on. And uh, see you guys later. Deuces. Next time on Batman: The Telltale Series. You may have saved me, but this isn't over. You don't know these people, Bruce. Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now they want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What do you want from me? You know what I want. No more hiding, but for anyone. But don't worry, Bruce Wayne's finally gonna get what's coming to him. Bruce! Bruce! This is